Mabari, Izaka Chan, no Tatsumaki. And I just saw the, the official Bleach live action uh, uh, movie trailer. And all the uh, more or less, um, there's going to be some real cornball shit, right? What I'm about to say. But more or less, all the, uh, the lost faith I had for the Bleach movie is kind of nearly fate now i kind of actually am more hyped for it i'm actually kind of uh, i'm actually kind of more uh enthusiastic about it now that i've seen the official trailer for it it looked it pretty promising from what i've seen uh i thought this uh, uh for a long time i thought this movie was gonna was gonna sink uh i heard War uh, warner bros is more or less like i said before warner bros has uh a huge hand in making this movie for for a, a, a U.S. audience, as I heard. Uh, Shins, Shinsuke Sato, if I'm pretty sure that was his name. Uh, he uh, he made a, a previous popular movie called Gantz that was actually, in fact, based on the Gantz uh, 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 manga and anime. And that movie was pretty good. Actually, I can't, personally, I said that's... I said the Gantz live action amongst uh, the obscure list of actually good uh, anime live actions and kind of towards so so leading towards also uh, Ghost in the Shell that's on that list. I know I've just got, I, I'm, I'm, about to, I'm about to get spited for saying that I actually kind of liked it, the Ghost in the Shell live action. But like I said in What is a Critic? Everyone's a critic, everyone has an opinion, so when you criticize me, you're pretty much proving my point. But that's besides the point. Uh, I saw the, the official trailer for the Bleach live action, and pretty much my hope went up for it. Uh, despite of all the, the backlash people gave for Ichigo or, or Rukia's look for, uh, for uh, was it Hana Suki Seiki? Suki Seiki and and Fukushi, I forgot his first name, Sota Fukushi, I think, that people were portraying, uh, were portraying Ruki and Ichigo in the movie. I saw them, and I saw them how they mashed, how they were in the movie together, and personally, I thought it mashed really together. And, uh, most people, and, and most people actually spited this movie already because how the characters look, but over time, I kind of came with a with, with the thought is that considering these are characters out of work of fiction and you were to take them, literally take them out of the comic or slash anime, which one, and smack them on the movie theaters, it wouldn't really, it wouldn't look like, it wouldn't look plausible. It wouldn't look like it would happen if you were to apply such to a real world. So I completely understand why changes are made. If you're if you're applying these characters to a real world like situation, because that's what it is, a live action, then you gotta at least make them look like they could be, they they could be uh, logical. They they look you have to make them look like they could be probable in a real world like setting or scenario. Uh, although I did like how they depict each girl's room. It looked it really similar to uh, it really looked similar to that of his that's in the mood that's in the manga slash anime they had the quincy cross the bed spray had the quincy cross it was blue it was packy ish like with a lot of music and stuff uh um and also like the depiction of a uh, fishbone d if i'm pretty sure that was his name the the hollow that apparently was the reason that pretty much kicked off the uh the movie in the first place, Fishbone Deep, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but people also sp are spiting the movie because they say, literally people sp really spited this movie because they did not like how Fishbone D was walking and, ha and, and what Rukia landed onto when Fishbone D, well, in this movie scenario, was draining her soul, but in the anime, it bit her. Cause she tried to use herself as a shield for protect it to protect it protect Ichigo from getting eaten by it. But yeah, people are literally spiting the mood for its small insecurities. 
And <laughs> more or less to me, I thought that was really the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. Yet, yet uh, comedically satisfying. Um, yeah, pretty much I'm saying I have uh, hope for it. I like how Hana and, and Sota are met. I like how Han and Sota are in the movie. I like how they how they uh mash they actually mash well in the movie. Even their looks are even appealing to that of Ichigo and Rukia's to a certain degree if they were applied to a real world scenario. So I really didn't have a big problem with that concept. Uh, I can't speak for everyone else, but personally I didn't think it was a big deal. Um Yeah, more or less that's all I gotta say. When you when when you want to keep faithful to the, well, I'm saying, you, if you want to keep faithful to both fans and both try to imply these characters, if they were were to exist in a real world scenario, you gotta you gotta, on one side, you gotta make it similar but still, but still uh, noticeable for fans, and on the other spectrum, you gotta make, if you're applying these characters or the situation or the story in a real world scenario sense, then you got to pick the, sometimes you got to be a little logical. Yes. Be, be recognizable and source material familiar, but also be logical considering you're putting these characters in a real world scenario. So yeah, I have all faith for it. That's all I'm just saying. I saw it. Uh, shout out to, to, to Audrey Platinum Equinox and uh, 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 James Hansen, uh, who uh, also did the same reaction as I'm doing right now. Well, not take a reaction, but thoughts on it. Uh, yeah, pretty much that's all I got to say.